robots that can do parkour, a speaker that pencils in your appointments, and what is up with drones? Technology is advancing faster than ever before, and some people have some fears surrounding that. Here are the top 10 upcoming technologies that humans should fear. Starting off this list, in our number 10 spot, we have autonomous AI. There's a Harvard professor named Nick Bostrom, and he devised this thought experiment that really does show us the dangers of this sort of super intelligence. So basically, he made this hypothetical scenario where a paperclip company, you know, all the huge corporations that are dedicated to just making paperclips, if they made some some sort of AI robot thing that is tasked with the one single goal of creating as many paper clips as possible for the company, in theory, is amazing. There's so many paper clips. We don't know what to do with them anymore. Paper clip stocks are higher than they've ever been, and this robot has put that little guy on the computer screen straight out of business. But now, something has happened. This robot, which only knows paper clips and only knows it's supposed to create as many as possible, obviously takes this job seriously. And it's a robot, so it doesn't know about anything else in the world. So this robot starts to take other resources, such as those we need to survive in order to create these paper clips because it doesn't know anything else. In doing this and fulfilling its paper clip destiny, it wipes out humanity in the process. Of course, this is an extreme hypothetical, but hey, it's definitely something to think about. This is just one hypothetical scenario out of many that could possibly arise. In our number nine spot today, we have automation. Okay, it's no secret that robots have been putting people out of work. I mean, it's something we've seen for years, and as technology advances, there are jobs that were once done by humans that are now being done by Siri. Bad example, but you get what I mean. It is said that this trend, however, of robots doing human jobs is only on the rise. As an example, which we will talk more about later, self-driving cars. It is said that this new piece of technology will soon put 5 million Americans out of jobs. That's a lot. I mean, if taxi companies or Uber can somehow find a way to remove the middleman, you know they would in order to rake in more cash for themselves. This issue isn't just with this, however. It is said that by 2030, nearly 70 million people could lose their jobs due to automation. Is it efficient? Yes. Is it potentially very harmful? Also yes. In our number 8 spot today, we have personal assistants. No, we are not talking about the person who schedules your appointments or grabs your dry cleaning for you or whatever other outdated cliche I can give to you as a personal assistant. We are talking about Alexas, Google Homes, Series, you know, that sort of thing. There's been concerns for years over these things and their habits of listening in on our day-to-day -day lives. I mean, my Google Home mostly just hears the songs of RuPaul's Drag Race, but it also hears everything else I talk about as well and you never know what it is doing with that information. I mean, hey, have you ever been in a completely separate room before speaking to someone else, only to hear your Google Home 30 feet away from you go, I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. It's an eerie feeling to say the least. In our number seven spot today, we have virtual reality. Okay. Another piece of technology that isn't new, but it's definitely more widespread now, is virtual reality. It's a super fun piece of technology, or it can be absolutely terrifying, but people are legitimately worried about it. People have raised concerns over how this sort of technology might affect our brains, more specifically, our memories. There are worries that younger people using these sorts of technologies might end up creating these sort of false memories under the influence of virtual reality. This, however, is something that needs a lot more study to confirm firm if these sort of effects really do exist and are happening, and if so, whether they outweigh the benefits. In our number six spot today, we have personal information tracking. It is not news to us that people are afraid of their personal information being tracked. I mean, we all know someone or have at least heard of someone who doesn't use the bank. You know what I mean? And while in our modern times, many people have gotten over these sorts of things, it seems as though there's always a new way people are using technology to sort of track what users are doing. I mean, the other day, I was placing an order at Lush, which is a cosmetics company if you're unfamiliar, and I swear, every website I've been to since has given me an ad for the thing I literally already purchased. One day you see an ad for a shower curtain and you click on it, well, have fun looking at shower curtains, caddies, and bath mats on every website you go to for the next three months. It is clear that websites are keeping track of this stuff and sharing it with each other. It's not necessarily this in itself that is concerning, but when there's a mass security breach, such as that time Facebook had one that caused the exposure of around 50 million users' personal information, things like this become much larger of an issue. In our number five spot today, we have smart TVs. Okay, I 
actually didn't know this was something that people were worried about until this list. I mean, I love my smart TV. It's got all the apps, I can speak into the microphone thing instead of using the terrible prime search function. I don't need cable, I've got a smart TV. It solves so many problems, the picture is great, but not everyone feels so keen about them. Apparently smart TVs are so smart that they're also keeping tabs on users' viewing habits, which people are worried will somehow allow criminals to hack in and steal their personal information. I mean, there might be something I'm missing here, but what's one more person with the password to my Netflix? You know? Just kidding, Netflix. Please don't ban my account. In our number four spot today, we have self-driving cars. I said we'd talk about them again, and I mean, we have to. Taylor and I watched a body cam video the other day of someone being pulled over in a self-driving car because they were asleep at the wheel. I don't trust some actual humans I know enough to fall asleep in the car. I can't imagine trusting a piece of new technology like this. The issue isn't with the self-driving per se. I mean, there are plenty of reasons why this step makes sense, why it could be exceptionally helpful, and why there are people who are clearly on board with the idea. But there are also some things that are rightfully a major cause for concern. One of the most debated and truly one of the biggest questions surrounding this is an ethical one, like will a self-driving car prioritize prioritize a driver or passenger or operator, whatever you want to call them, over other road users. And not just over other road users, but at the expense of other road users. Also, what happens when the car is left with a decision to either collide with one person or another? A car couldn't take into account any sort of extenuating circumstances like a human would. In our number three spot today, we have warrior robots. It's a classic science fiction storyline. Robots are created to fight wars or some sort of thing, and then suddenly they turn on us and take over the world. We've heard the story, we've read the book, we've seen Will Smith and I, Robot, we know. But apparently, we're getting a little closer to this than some of us realize. There are autonomous drones that are already available, again, more on that later, but people are saying that it's only a matter of time before the leap from fun piece of technology that could catch cool footage to killer machine happens. Maybe that was a little dramatic, but hey, people are worried. There are also people who aren't worried about the whole robots turning against us thing, but are in instead worried that these sorts of autonomous weapons will then create issues surrounding accountability when it comes to armed conflicts. It's definitely something I've actually never really stopped to think about before, but it definitely raises a good point. In our number two spot today, we have drones. Drones aren't a new piece of technology, but they are definitely becoming more widespread. In fact, there have been surveys conducted that suggest that drones are actually the piece of technology that is upcoming that the general public fears the most. Part of this, or really a lot of this, is due to the fact that since this technology evolved so quickly, the laws and regulations surrounding them haven't exactly had the time to catch up. Drones can be super useful, and they're a brilliant piece of technology when used responsibly, but considering how the Federal Aviation Administration regulations don't really directly address residential areas, this creates a problem for those who don't know about the drone or about the user's intention. Sometimes when someone just wants to fly their drone and enjoy this piece of technology, it can make others feel like they're being spied on. In our number one spot today, we have biomedical advancements. For years, medical researchers have been trying to find ways to replace completely natural but failing organs with new man-made ones, or possibly even to be able to change genes in utero in order to help with certain inherited diseases. You know, basically studying how we can take steps to improve people's chances, people's quality of life, that sort of thing. It's a really important part of medicine, and on the surface is an incredibly important and valuable thing, but of course, like with any of these things, it raises concerns. While some things, like being able to create fully functioning organs for those awaiting a transplant is a great thing, there are other, less necessary things that have people on edge. Things like brain chips meant to make us smarter, and synthetic blood to help improve certain abilities. These things have people worried mostly that this will create a divide in between us. Sort of like a have, have not situation. This coupled with different places and their access to resources, as well as how religion and personal beliefs can confuse things even further, and we have a bit of a recipe for disaster. It's definitely cool on paper, but in reality, things get a little bit more muddled. Alright guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. Let me know if any of these technologies have you afraid. Do you have a drone? Do you fly it around? Let me know. Are you freaking people out in the neighborhood? <laughs> I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!